So now we will discuss the optical fiber communication process. How the communication takes place uh, with the help of optical fibers. How can we send the message from the transmitter to the receiving end with the help of uh, optical fibers and other few more components. In this, the message that we want to transmit may be non-electrical in nature. Suppose maybe audio signal, our message signal, our voice speech signal. So first of all, it needs to be converted into electrical form using transducers. So transducers are what? Transducers are just the energy converters. They convert energy from one form to another. So we need to first convert this non-electrical uh, nature having uh, non-electrical signal into electrical signal when it has been converted using the transducers into electrical signal then the message is converted into electrical form now the message the which is converted into electrical form it modulates an optical source optical source means uh, we can take lasers or LEDs light emitting diodes okay so we use uh, in optical fibers mainly lasers or LEDs as the optical source so this message is modulated this message is uh, we modulate this uh, message over the this light okay that comes from the optical sources so we have modulated light signal having message okay after this the light rays which contain the message travel through the optical fiber okay by the phenomenon of total internal reflection as we have studied okay due to tir total internal reflection the energy loss is negligible inside the fiber while traveling that's the beauty of optical fibers that uh, there are negligible losses as total internal reflection has no loss almost ideally no loss because uh, it gets totally internally reflected total internally reflected so no part escapes ideally actually in practical there are some issues we will discuss also the losses that are faced but ideally it is negligible or zero now at the receiving end okay it is traveling now at the receiving end the photo detectors like uh, photodiodes or phototransistors etc are used to convert the light signal back into the electrical signal at the receiving end since we have uh, the light rays so we need some mechanism to first uh, since we want to retrieve the our uh, uh, electrical signal back so first of all we need to convert this uh, light rays these light energy into electrical so we can so we can do this using the phototransistors or photodiodes these are the devices used at receiving end um, that are light uh, sensitive to uh, sensitive to light that can produce uh, electrical signals and are stimulated by and are very sensitive to light or photons okay so these convert it into back into the electrical signal then the original message signal is retrieved from this electrical signal since uh, the original message was if it was in non-electrical form maybe audio then it is retrieved from this electrical signal back into the original form friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye